right now I am uh, coming to you from Anand Vihar area which uh, every year remains to be the worst affected. As of now the AQI level at this very space is in the very uh, severe or even in fact hazardous category and numbers are somewhere hovering around 550 levels. First of all I will give you a glimpse of how this place looks like right now. Uh, this haze uh, has uh, engulfed this uh, entire area and in fact this is nothing new we have been reporting from this very place from the last one week and in fact from the last five to six days I can tell you the situation has gone from bad to worse. The mood on the ground you were talking about the people uh, are actually forced to carry out their daily work. You can see how pedestrian shops uh, are in fact uh, being put up over here. People are actually carrying out with their uh, day to day life but uh, most of them I think still are unaware of the fact that how they are breathing in this toxic air which is actually slowly uh, killing them or slowly making them sick because uh, one thing I can tell you is that uh, if you stand here uh, continuously for more than one hour you will start to feel that uh, problem in breathing and also the pinch in the eye you can feel just in about 10 minutes because now what ha what is happening is that uh, the AQI has breathed almost hazardous level in each and every pocket of the national capital and in fact uh, um, meetings are be have been uh, have been taking place in the national capital uh, regarding this situation but as of now the air quality continues to deteriorate and in fact this was uh, very much told by uh, the officials here in the national capital and in fact uh, scientists had already predicted that this situation would worsen further because of the prevailing weather conditions. Uh, now the temperature is continuously dipping um, day by day and in fact with the dipping temperature what is also happening is that the wind speed is also taking a hit and that is why the pollutants are not able to find an escape route when it's come to the air quality. Also, uh, you talked about the letter which has been letter, uh, written to the Union uh, Environment Minister by Delhi's Environment Minister Gopal Rai. In fact, in that also, he has urged that uh, now a meeting should be convened of all the five states including Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan regarding the situation in the national capital. Um, one thing to also remember is that uh, now uh, Supreme Court had earlier asked the f these five states to file an affidavit in front of the apex court talking about what measures they are taking to combat this situation. That, that very deadline is also uh, inching closer because uh, every year we talk about problems which are being faced by the Delhiites owing to this very pollution but as of now in th these many years in fact it's been almost a decade since Delhi is gasping for fresh air in these months and as of now no substantial solution has been given. Well it's a Sunday morning and also a very hazy morning here in the national capital and this is all because of the pollutants which have engulfed this area of Delhi and NCR region. Well I'm coming to you from the Vijay Chowk area behind me uh, is Rashpati Bhavan and the North and the South blocks uh, but uh, uh, you can see how bad the situation has turned here in the national capital that visibility has taken such a hit that uh, these very buildings are not even visible from a distance of uh, barely 100 meters now. In fact it's a Sunday morning and this area is a very touristy one where a lot of tourists pay a visit but I can tell you that uh, relatively this place is quieter and uh, not many people are actually venturing out because of this pollution. On usual days, uh, this place is buzzing with tourists and especially on a Sunday morning and afternoon, a lot of people come here to take pictures and to actually pay a visit to this very site. But uh, owing to this situation, a lot of people has, uh, have actually thought of skipping this because um, air pollution is only rising here in the national capital. In most of the areas now, the air quality level. Now in the latest what the Delhi government has decided to shut the schools for the primary schools till 10th of November and, uh, and they have also given an option to the classes from 6 to uh, the senior classes to actually uh, continue classes in an online mode. So as of now different steps are being taken by the government to actually uh, 
um, to actually take stock of the situation and to probably provide a solution to the situation. Um, because pediatrics and in fact uh, health experts have already maintained that children are most vulnerable to this entire situation. I'll once again give you a glimpse of this place. This on uh, on this side of this road is Kartavyapath and you can see uh, there is uh, almost nil visibility of India Gate from this very place and this is all because of this thick layer of smog which has engulfed this entire area. Well, you go to any place in the national capital, these are the visuals you're going to witness because most of these areas are actually reporting numbers in very severe to hazardous category. Well, this Sunday morning, it is turned to be a toxic one for the people of the national capital and in fact in the coming days also we don't expect much respite owing to the weather conditions. This is Yash Gwell with video journalist N. Satish for CNN News 18.